These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, I wanted to spend some time talking about two words that I see getting thrown around all over social media, Facebook and Twitter and the such as in regards to vaping and smoking, and that is dual use. This is the idea that someone would be using a nicotine e-cigarette and a combustible cigarette at the same time, and this is being painted as a very, very negative thing. One of my most favorite people in the whole wide world, Stanton Glantz, he loves to get on Twitter and remind people that, you know, dual use is worse and more dangerous than using either product alone, and that dual use is more dangerous than just smoking, and that for most users, they would be better off just smoking. Here's the thing though, he's technically not wrong that using a nicotine e-cigarette and a cigarette at the same time is worse for you. If a nicotine e-cigarette is 95% less harmful than smoking, then if you're doing both, you're incurring the harm of both cigarettes and the harms from vaping, which is somewhat logically equivalent to saying if someone eats double bacon cheeseburgers and grilled salmon every single day, it's worse for them than if they just ate double bacon cheeseburgers every single day. And no one would be better off eating double bacon cheeseburgers every single day. One big thing that I think is getting lost in the nuance of this conversation around dual use, and that is the idea that dual use is a very, very regular and normal thing in a quit smoking journey. If someone has a nicotine vape, the idea would be that they would dual use, but use their nicotine vape more than they would smoke cigarettes. When we're quitting smoking, the goal and the only goal is to avoid that next cigarette. Ideally, and in a perfect world, someone would buy a nicotine vape and immediately exclusively start using it and getting rid of all other combustion. Some people can do that, lots of people can't and they dual use. Everybody's time in the dual use window is different because every person is unique. I personally dual used for about three months till I got some products that I really liked. My younger brother, he dual used for about a year before he got some products that he really liked. Dual use leads to quitting smoking, and this isn't just anecdotal me and my brother and the hundreds of thousands of people I've talked to, there is actually science to back this up. I found this study called Nicotine Replacement Therapy, Friend or Foe, published in the Journal of Family Medicine and Primary Care. They talk about a quit smoking technique called nicotine preloading. Nicotine preloading means using an NRT prior to a quit date while smoking normally. It results in a reduction of a person's drive to smoke, deteriorating levels of addiction, resulting in a decreased craving after quitting smoking cigarettes. I mean, they basically just described dual use, using a nicotine vape while you're smoking cigarettes, with the idea being that you cut down on your cigarettes, quitting completely. I also found this study published in BMJ Open, titled, Is Dual Use of Nicotine Products and Cigarettes Associated with Smoking Reduction and Cessation Behaviors, a prospective study in England. Their conclusion was that dual use of e-cigarettes is associated with a greater reduction in cigarette consumption than dual use of over-the-counter nicotine replacement therapy. It may discourage a small proportion of users from making a quit attempt compared with dual over-the-counter nicotine replacement therapy use, but does not appear to undermine use of evidence-based cessation aids. Using a nicotine vape as the same time as smoking to cut down on your cigarettes and eventually quit. And while not explicitly recommending dual use or nicotine preloading, our own government, smokefree.gov, does recommend dual use of NRTs. They say you might use a long-acting NRT such as the patch with a short-acting NRT such as the lozenge. Some people find that both long-acting patch and short-acting gum 
to be useful when cravings are high to handle withdrawal symptoms and fight off cravings. Quitting smoking is always about avoiding that very next cigarette. And the CDC says the exact same thing. Using two NRTs together is more likely to help you quit smoking than using one alone. A patch will reduce your withdrawal symptoms throughout the day while a lozenge or gum will quickly help you deal with any breakthrough cravings. You control how often you use the lozenge or gum so you won't get more nicotine than you want. You have added flexibility, lowering the amount of nicotine you can get when you are ready to stop using an NRT. They basically just described literally everything a nicotine vape does as well. You can self-regulate your own nicotine consumption and lower it down when you're ready to quit completely. Unfortunately, dual use doesn't always lead to successful quitting attempts. I found this study published by NIH called Cigarette and E-Cigarette Dual Use and Risk of Cardiopulmonary Symptoms in the Health E-Heart Study. Now that's a mouthful of a study, but when talking about dual use of cigarette and e-cigarette exposure, they say in the present study, even with the use of e-cigarettes, dual users did not smoke fewer cigarettes than those who smoked only cigarettes. It may be possible that the nicotine from the e-cigarettes did not satisfy dual users' nicotine levels enough to reduce their usual cigarette intake. Ineffective products and ineffective nicotine levels prolong dual use and prevent lowering cigarette consumption. That statement is actually very backed up by this other study I found published by NIH in NIH by The Lancet, which is literally one of the world's oldest and most prestigious peer-reviewed medical journals in the world. And it is a mouthful of a study title. Effects of an electronic nicotine delivery system with zero, eight, or 36 milligram per milliliter liquid nicotine versus a cigarette substitute on tobacco-related toxicant exposure exposure, a forearm, parallel group, randomized controlled trial. Yowza, this is a thorough study, but at the end, they did say, use of an ENDS with cigarette-like nicotine delivery can reduce exposure to a major pulmonary carcinogen, NNAL, even with concurrent smoking. Future ENDS trials should involve products with well-characterized nicotine delivery, including those with nicotine delivery approaching that of a cigarette. That study was funded by the Food and Drug Administration, which means the FDA is fully aware that higher level nicotine vapes are more effective at getting cigarette smokers to quit smoking. Ineffective vapes make the dreaded dual use time much longer, and seemingly higher nicotine vapes could make the dreaded dual use time much, much shorter and make vapes overall much more effective. And like I said, FDA knows this. At the end of the day, your body and your nicotinic receptors in your brain know how much nicotine you need or don't need. If we see someone dual using, to me, that is someone who wants to quit and they should be encouraged to continue. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free. Yep, every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. You know, and I'm not much of a conspiracy person, but it is curious to see the push for lower and lower nicotine levels in e-cigarettes, making them essentially less and less effective so they could turn around and go, oh, look, look how ineffective vaping is.